Good morning, everyone. Carrie the Yummy Elephant. And we're on day July 14th. Today is Thursday. Going to my mom's to play cards. The girls against the boys. Knowledge gives power. Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Proverbs 18.15 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1 7. Choose my instruction rather than silver, and knowledge rather than pure gold. Proverbs 8 10. Teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I trust your commands. Psalms 119 66. My people are destroyed. For lack of knowledge. Hosea 4 6. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offering. Hosea 6 6. Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. Proverbs 19 2. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, to whom belong wisdom and might. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Daniel 2, 20 and 21. The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint, and whoever has understanding is even-tempered. Proverbs 17, 27. What is the difference between knowledge and wisdom? Knowledge is knowing a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put a tomato in a fruit salad. Knowledge begins with the servitude of the Lord where we allow him to reveal himself to us. Sometimes you are like Job and his friends speculating about God for 37 chapters before he came to say something about himself and Job cried out now I know you wow okay and July 14th what is love Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. 1 John 4, 8. God is love, and he loves, his love is poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Romans 5, 5. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. We have God's love inside of us, and God wants us to flow, wants it to flow through us to others. Someone recently asked me, what is love? In, it is a word that we use frequently, but inappropriately. We say we love ice cream, our new car, sunshine, God, and countless other things. But the kind of love the Bible talks about cannot be applied to ice cream or a car. The love of God is patient and kind. It is not envious. It is not proud or it, it is not proud or boastful. It does not dishonor others, and it is not self-seeking, nor easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. It rejoices in truth. It always protects. It believes the best of everyone. It always hopes, and it never gives up. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. God demonstrates his love for us through the way he treats us, and we show our love for others through the way that we treat them. I have heard and repeated this often. People don't always remember what you said to them, but they always remember how you made them feel. We have the God-given ability to make everyone we meet feel valued and special, and we should endeavor to do so. It is easy to love those who love you or do what you want them to do, 
but it is mo much more difficult to love an enemy or someone who has disappointed you. Jesus gave us one new commandment, to love others as he loved us. John 13, 34. In all your dealings with people, ask yourself what Jesus would do and how he would treat them and follow in his steps. Father, I know that loving you is loving others and loving others is your highest command. I am sorry for all the times I have failed to do so. Forgive me. Help me grow in the kind of love you give to me and give me a greater desire and ability to give it to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Woo. Have a blessed day, you guys. Bye.